The Reggae Sum Fest is going to be in Jamaica, Catherine Hall, Montego Bay from July 14th to July 20th, 2024. You don't want to miss this, so I really want to know what's happening this year for the Reggae Sum Fest. Well, you know, over the last three or four years, Reggae Sum Fest has changed from being a two-night or three-night event to a whole week of events. Wow. And I mean, it's in what we now call Sum Fest City, because Ooh. Montego Bay yes. is Sum Fest City during that time, yes. the entire month of June and July. So we'll be having one whole week of events, starting on the 14th, going through till the 20th. So um, we start off with a community festival, but that it really encompasses a lot of stuff for children, adults, the whole family. Yes. And then we move into a street festival. So both of those, street dance, the both of those events are totally free. They're for Montego Bay, for the public. And after that now, we get into the um we have the the blitz rum and oh, we have here. the all white party oh, first now white. that's a 30 year old I party have a white pants i can finally wear it yeah you need a white Excellent. shirt, you well. need a white white shirt. shirt. no yeah. problem no or problem. maybe none at all none at all. Ooh. So anyway, we have the all white which is at pier one and yes. that has been there for the 31 years okay and then we have blitz but marcia you can well, Tell this us year, something. Blitz is a little different. Usually we have Blitz as a party, but this year we have done this collaboration. But right. one other very important collaboration that we have is with Ray and Nevio. So yeah. we have Jamaica Rum Festival is now going to partner with Reggae Sum Fest. And so it's called the Jamaica Rum Festival Blitz. Rum Festival. So the it's Jamaica a, rum it's festival a come blitz. for the rum in the day, stay for the party in the night. Ooh. So can you imagine the day yes. it is going to be? Yes. And then we move into our sound clash where we have international systems from all over Germany, Japan, Jamaica. Mm. And then after that now, we move straight into the big night one and night, night two. two. Right. And how are the people responding? Or how is the anticipation building up for some mm. fest? Well, I believe already there are several rooms booked in the Ooh. hotels by end of May, June. Yes. Traditionally, all the, if you haven't booked your room yet, then you're in a bad way. What are the prices like for Reggae Sum Fest this year? Well, the truth is we have something for everybody, you know, because we do start off at about, I think, $55 mm -hmm. for a general ticket right. on, say, Friday night. It goes up and you can get your VIP, you can get ultra VIP. So sometimes, I mean, like we, we also, those will go to like $125, $130. But then you can also get a table for four, okay. which will go up a little more yes. to two, four for the four. Right. And then you can get a cabana. So we kind of try and make sure that there's a space for everyone yes. and it's affordable for everyone. Well, you left out with me because I think I'm better than an ultra VIP. So what about me? Oh, you're in the Lux Lounge. Lux? Yeah. Okay, I like Where that. you can have three of your friends. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And how much is that running for? That's, I think, 2400 per night. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I can handle that. I can handle that. So the Sumfest, as you know, it is, is almost intertwined with Jamaica's history, of course. And reggae is such a rich part of the culture, part of the history. Can you just tell me how the reggae Sumfest team has somewhat aligned with brand Jamaica and boosted the brand further? Well, from the very beginning, it began you know as an event that would attract visitors to the island by showcasing right. the rich musical heritage that we have and reggae Sumfest has been integral in what we call it bossing yeah bossing yeah in bringing to the fore yes. a lot of talented youth yes. i mean being a man started on the reggae some fest he was a really beanie man and you know as a him on. yeah okay okay and you know you do have even some of the artists that have yeah. made their mark not only on the some fest stage but internationally they sometimes use the some fest stage to introduce young ones so when they're doing their performances they may bring somebody on with them and right. it's the first time you're seeing that person right. but it's such a big stage then that person gets the chance so there are lots of things i mean you know right. reggae is synonymous with jamaica around the world and so it's reggae some fest so as far as brand jamaica goes right. you know we really do push it and then of course this year we're carrying brand jamaica here yes with 
team Baker. You are and we're gonna do job. we're gonna we're gonna be in Times Square on the big screens. Yes. Soon. So look wow. out for us down there. We're taking we're over. We're getting some first take over. Right. Taking right. over. Right. Another topic of artists. I know you mentioned, you know, artists and someone's probably getting introduced. So what are the big talents, you know, people can look forward to this year at the Reggae Song Fest? Well, on Friday night, you know, tends to have the more dance hall type yeah. um, artists. We have Cableton, we have Idonia, we have um, Dexter Dups, yes. um, we have Valiant, and lots more. And then on Saturday night now, right. we have a little special this year because we had moved away from from international acts in the past yes. but we've been asked so this year we're bringing babyface Ooh, okay. and we have of course everybody loves Barry's Hammond everybody, I mean, everybody it loves is loves favorite. Luciano to experience Anthony, oh Ooh. yes you know so we have we have really such a wide selection yes. and really strong acts I, I don't think it should be missed this year right so what is the message that some press is putting out to the people this year what are you telling them to make sure they come out? And what is the overarching message for Sumfest 2024? Come enjoy yourself, immerse yourself in the culture of Jamaica. Because all the events leading up to Savet, to Sumfest help you to do that. Yes. So we want you to, but we also want you to be responsible in terms of how you use things. Because music festivals are notorious for plastic waste oh, and so okay, okay. some fest is very big on being environmentally responsible wow, that yeah, is, one, that of, is one of the big things we're doing which we have been growing every year and expanding with yes. is that we have a beach cleanup so we clean up Catherine Hall right. this year we're gonna clean up another beach close by yes. and we involve our sponsors yes. we involve the artists and we really and truly push people to be responsible in terms of that. Collect thousands of pounds yes. of plastic. And not only from land, but on the sea. We have a barge that collects on the sea. You know, so we try to be responsible as well right. as giving fun. Yes. And we separate our garbage so that the plastic is collected separately and disposed of appropriately. Right. Okay. So reggae some of us for the people, for the culture. For and the for environment the country, yes. and for brand Jamaica. Thank you so much, Ms. Maxine and Ms. Marcia. I thank you so much for your time. It's been um, any, any final thoughts for our viewers here? Just book your tickets now. Yes, they're going fast. They're online at reggaesomefest.com. Yes. So just get there right away. Book your looks lounge tickets. Yes. And yes, if you want yes. a cabana, you yes. know, and if you just want to just hang in the crowd yes, and you just get your general and come, you know, just get a ticket one way or another. All right, the Reggae Sum Fest, July 14th to July 20th at Catherine Hall, Montego Bay, Jamaica. Be there. This is Scene TV, Caribbean Everyday Entertainment Network. I'm John Mark Prince. This is Scene, your preferred eye to the Caribbean.